a how to take care of an ornamental um, tree. This is the Sargentina flowering crab apple. It was, it had a great year flowering, but it was way out of shape. I've already pruned it. I probably should have done the before and after on that, but it's looking really good. But look at the base of it. <laughs> That's not looking good. What we're going to do is I'm going to edge this. I'm going to go through all the steps we've talked about. The edger, then I'm going to take the weed eater, you know, and, and then and make that edge perfect. Then we're going to take sod lifter, get that crap out of there. And then I'm going to show you how to mulch these things. First of all, we're going to cut the circle to fit the tree. You're not going to go in and cut a little tiny circle at the circumference. You're not going to come out here 50 miles. You're going to fit the tree with the with the edge. The edge around that should should be in, in semblance of a perfect balance of the tree and the um, and the and the edge around it. It should all it should meld. It shouldn't. You should never have a little tiny edge around the tree this big. Nor should you come way out in the middle of nowhere with it. I mean, I, I've seen it all. But it, we, and there's and there's a large large degree of forgiveness. You don't have to be perfect, but you do have to fit it. And people should try harder to get this to be perfectly round. You don't want an egg shape. You don't want it oval. It's so easy to do uh, to get the things right. It takes an extra couple seconds. Well, we're going to make a perfectly round edge here. Um, and then I'm going to get the vegetation out of there and then we're going to mulch it. We'll, we'll show you the steps as I go and by the time I'm done with this tree it'll look like a totally different entity. It's, um, okay, let me cut the edge and we'll be right back. Whoop. That happens. Thing ready? Always angle. Yeah, angle. Angle doesn't all this is right in one area now so you just break this up area up now all I'm gonna do is take the sod lifter and just go down underneath you don't have to be too careful here just you know just get everything loosened up see see how nice a tool this is and of course if you don't have good dirt um, forget all that I've said because you won't be able to do this but you guys are all gonna have good dirt no, we want a perfectly round. Um, look at that. I, I'm, I'm almost certain that everybody would say, that's fine, good enough. And it would be. I'm, uh, or then it would be. But I have a chance to show you what, how to make them round and what you look for. They're called flat spots. We look for when you're trying to make a radius, you look for something called, and right here's one, Karen, right here. It starts here. And you can see if the radius continued, right here's what you'd call a flat spot. It cuts into our radius. And once you learn to recognize those, it, it takes in very short order you can just very easily cut that flat spot out over into here and I'll bet you that's going to look rounder now I hope so okay and then you just continue on around and you just keep your eyes peeled for another flat spot and then, and then you have to de determine your degree of tolerance. I mean, I worked for a professional golfer one time, and we were pretty precise. But in the case of this place, I'm going to take here's a little flat spot here. I'm just I'm going to shave that out, but you wouldn't have to. We're we're, good. we're plenty. Good. But yeah, I, I I worked for some interesting people, and one was a pro pro golfer, and he. He wanted radiuses, so we gave them to him. It takes a little extra time, but there, a couple little tweaks is all I did there to make things look a little bit better. Here's a, this is called a graft right here. If this, so you find them in all nursery stock. Every tree's grafted, and as long as you keep that above above the ground, 
excuse me and if you if you're mulching and you go no higher than that you'll probably be okay i'm not gonna even come close to that my mulch will end up about here and it'll be a nice soft mound it should never cry look at me look at my hill look at my mound look at my anything it should always be understated especially around you only have a small area here you screw up a small area and it stands out like a sore thumb there's no forgiveness in the smaller areas you get away with murder out there in the big spots but here we're gonna have to be real precise how we do this it's no big deal but when I'm done with this tomorrow, you're going to see from what it looked like, what, seven, eight minutes ago to what it's going to look like with a little, a little mulch on it. It's not that big a deal, but you got to know how to do it, and you should, you should, it's not hard. So tomorrow we'll mulch it and see how our tree looks. And we're back to this tree. Remember what it looked like when we started. Uh, just going to quickly finish it off now, explain a few things as I go. You don't want to do this. The first thing you don't want to have is this volcano look. That, that goes on more than, more than you think, and even, even worse than that. That's a mild version of what I call volcanoing around a tree. That, there's absolutely not only no need to do it, but you really don't want to do it. You, I've seen it so bad with it piled up here with the roots, the tree under the graph actually start coming out into the mulch. But the other thing is, remember, we talked about the look at me, you don't ever want to look at my mound, look at my volcano, all that stuff. That's out the, do out the door, you don't want that. You want the mulch to do its functional role of sort of keeping weeds out in the cosmetics all at once. <clears throat> right on your hands and knees, crawling around, it's okay. Again, the big wheelbarrow to make things easier. Just a little light here. Little, little touch-ups. <laughs> Again, we're all going to have our degrees of tolerance. Mine's pretty tight, I know, that's okay. But if your tree looks like that, nothing, it's, it's a very nicely landscaped tree. Step back a little from it, Karen, and get a nice look as part of just the landscape. Wheelbarrow out of the way. And Pretty nice looking tree right there. If all your ornamental trees on your property look like that, very nice. No volcanoes around your trees. All right? <laughs>